Hey friends, so it's a few days later and I feel like I haven't picked up the camera in so long but I'm finally here to give you guys an update of as much as I can. Like honestly, there is so much that took place. So let's start with the day that I arrived in the US. So I got picked up by some persons who have been here teaching in the US for a while and they brought me to the place that I had booked to stay for like the next three days. I booked this place the night before I arrived and in my mind like this place was the best option. I had messaged some teachers in like a group that we have and I asked them like hey where did you guys stay and all of that and I was told of this particular place so I went on booking.com and the place was really cheap I realized that I didn't have to pay a whole lot I was going to book for just one night but then I wasn't sure how long it would take me to find somewhere else to stay and then I had to be at work like the next day so I thought the safest thing to do would be to just book the place for three nights and then um, if I needed to stay longer then I would just I would stay longer or if I happen to find somewhere else then whatever I wasn't even thinking that far I was just thinking um, the wisest thing for me to do would be to just book three nights anyway I get to this place and immediately immediately I thought Okay, um, definitely doesn't look exactly how it is online, but I'm here, it's fine, let's just go. So the guys, they were so helpful, they helped me with my bags, um, we went up like two flights of stairs and, you know, he got me into my room. Before I got to the room, I went to get the key and I noticed the lady at the front was just like really dismissive. Like she was not very kind, barely spoke a word, but I didn't pay that any mind. I took the key, went up to the room. My room door could not be opened. So I tried the key several times. It's one of those swipe card keys. I tried it a few times, nothing. There was a room attendant there with a cart and you know i was saying to her like oh my key is working and all of that she proceeded to take her key and open the room door so one of the guys there he was saying you know try your key to make sure that it works now i tried the key it worked open the door close the door again the door wouldn't close now at this time the guys had already left and i was there in the room and i realized that okay the door opened but now the door can't be closed i decided to call my mom to let her know that i'm here safely and all of that and i was telling her what was happening she told me make sure you get uh, a room change because that doesn't like that doesn't sound right you know your door can't close i got off the phone with my mom and the entire weight of the day just came down on me guys i was so overwhelmed i started to cry i felt so alone i felt tired i felt just just everything was just crashing down on me the whole anxiety of moving every single thing just came crashing down and i sat there in one of the seats in the room and i cried even prior to crying and while crying <laughs> i looked around like I looked around the room and I noticed that this room was not clean at all. The bed looked as if somebody was sleeping in it, um, like the pillows were smushed down, the, the, the comforter on the bed looked like, literally, you know how your bed looks when you get up out of it, that's how the bed looked. The pillowcases were yellow, they, they looked dirty. Um, and like above all of that the room had such a strong smell of smoke on the side you had an option to choose a smoking room and a non-smoking room i chose a non-smoking room because i just thought more or less they have like special provisions for people who want to smoke or whatever i don't know i just thought a non-smoking room 
the place stink a cigarette like the smell of cigarettes was just so high um the bed was dirty i got up and i started to look around at this time i was kind of mustering up the courage to go and ask for the room change because it's not that i was scared i just didn't want to have to do that you know i just got off a plane i wanted to just go and lie down i was so tired my body was aching i just wanted to sleep I started looking around the room i looked behind the tv and tell me why there was a wad of hair behind the tv you know when you just finish braiding your hair like hair extensions and like there are loose strands and you just wrap them up in a ball but it looked like human hair and it was just there behind the tv and i started to get this feeling that this was just a mistake like let's go back home let's start this over in the grand scheme of things like i like i knew i was only going to be there for a short time but i started to feel so afraid i started to feel so scared i was like <sighs> i just want to sleep going to the bathroom the state of the bathroom wasn't bad um but it was just like it was giving it was giving roach motel like it was giving it was giving low budget like 0 0.5 stars yeah just for the bed alone it was giving 0 0.5 stars went downstairs um i approached that lady again and you know i i told her i said hey um my room door isn't closing can i have a room change she barely says anything she barely looks at me she goes behind her desk and she gives me a new key thankfully this was on the same floor so i wouldn't have had to lug all of that baggage and everything into the next room as i'm coming out of that room with my suitcases i look downstairs and there's this man like looking up at me so instinctively i just turned away because like when i looked down we literally locked eyes so i just turned away i'm rolling my suitcases into the room and i have this feeling that the person is still looking at me so i look back in his direction and the man was still there just staring at me just like looking at me so i'm at this point i'm like why are you staring <laughs> like, in my mind i'm like why are you staring at me like it was so so creepy friends i get into the room and this room was in a worse state than the first one the bed looked the same like somebody had just gotten up out of it there was dirt on the floor like red dirt like like maybe from like a construction site or like i don't know but it was like red dirt on the floor and the dirt um started from the doorway all the way into the bathroom everything was just worse i i sat down in the room and i cried again i felt so scared and it's like i knew i knew it was only temporary i knew that you know this was not going to be forever but guys i did not want to stay one single night in that place i did not want the sun to go down and i was in that place i was just no 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 ma'am no sir get me up out of hair i was there sitting in the chair just trying trying to get over like everything that was happening in my in my mind all the negative thoughts that were just like reeling in i go into the bathroom and there is urine on the toilet seat and there was no lid on the tank of the toilet like the only thing that was left was for like a cockroach r12 to just fly out of nowhere and hit me in the face i was like let's just wrap this up prior to getting to the us um i got a contact for someone who would be able to take me to work the next day and um soon after she messaged me to say hey um let me go and take you to get your sim card at that point i was like 
yeah okay no problem um i'll be ready i told her where i was and all of that i was just so happy to just have someone there and i wasn't thinking of okay finally somebody's gonna come and rescue me and take me to their house or anything like that i wasn't thinking like that it was more of i'm just really happy that someone is coming like there is gonna be somebody else there you know at that time i was getting ready to lie down because i was telling you guys i was so tired um i took out my sheets i threw back threw back the the blanket and i was getting ready to like spread my own sheet like on the like on the foot of the bed because i was thinking to myself if i have to be here then let me just i took the sheet and I was there, I spread it on the foot of the bed. And then when I got the message from the teacher, I went into my suitcase to retrieve, you know, my documents and cash and stuff like that. I looked through the window. At this point, I had drew the curtain away because um, I wanted to get some light in. And I had this feeling that nobody could see me. So I was thinking, okay, um, <laughs> It was just so dumb. Like, I was like, you know, nobody can see inside, but I can see outside. You know those kind of windows? Err, uh, wrong. I look outside just in time to see a van with some guys pulling in. And um, these guys, they look like construction workers. They were covered in red dirt, you know, looking like they're retiring for the evening and they're coming home. I looked through the window and I noticed that two of the guys that got out of the truck were looking at the room that I was in. He said something to one of the other guys and then like three of them at this point were just looking straight up at the room. When I tell you that I, I, will, I said to myself like, no, this, I can't stay here. Like, I can't stay here. And even at that time, I still wasn't thinking of how I could not stay. But I just felt so scared. I'm like, oh, what is here? <laughs> I pulled back the curtains and I put my purse in my bag, my documents, and I went out to meet her. And I guess she could tell by my body language, my expression, that things were just not well. And she asked me, she was like, hey... She introduced herself and everything and she's like how are you feeling i said like i'm not feeling good right now like i'm not comfortable i no she took me to get my sim card and she made some arrangements for me to stay with some other teachers i was so relieved i was so relieved and you know, I was thinking about the money that I spent to book this place. I was thinking of just how, just how inconvenient the situation was, how overwhelmed I was, just how the day just kind of like spiraled out of control in the sense where like I was not expecting anything like that. And, you know, I later found out this, this is, this is a regular thing and it attracts a certain type of people and therefore like i could not have expected anything better i was just disappointed overall i was just really disappointed and when i went back from my bags you know i asked the lady can i have a refund and she told me no on the side it did say that there was no refund like up until a certain time and I just I just took it as a loss. Okay guys, so I had to change positions because my phone battery died. But anyway, um I got to the place with the other teachers. I got a blow up bed <laughs> that night and I stayed in their um living room area. They rented a two bedroom and yeah, I I was just so grateful and I I stayed there. I went to work for um, the first few days from there and it was just, it was a turnaround obviously, <laughs> but I still felt, I still just felt so discouraged by that situation. I still felt so um, just tired and drained and demotivated 
I was mentally exhausted, emotionally exhausted, physically exhausted. I really went through it um, mentally, you know. I had so many nights where I just cried myself to sleep because everything just felt so overwhelming. Five days before I moved into this apartment that I found that was on the same complex as the teachers that I stayed with, I got a message from one of the teachers that picked me up from the airport to say hey this homeowner um, is offering a space for rent are you interested um, it's bigger than the average one bedroom apartment the rent is going to be a lot cheaper and you know it's in like close proximity to essential stores like supermarket pharmacy and all of that and when I heard about this, I I wasn't going to go because I had already, you know, applied to this one bedroom apartment. I wasn't going to go, but I, I told him, I said, okay, I'm willing to check it out. Now, the one bedroom that I had secured at the apartment complex, it was like small, like, you know, average one bedroom bedroom space, um, kitchen area, living room, I would have had to go quite a distance to the laundry area. But at the time, it was the only thing I could think about. I thought it was my best option. I thought it was a wise option to secure that space. I, I, I honestly just wanted my own space. I... Yeah, I just wanted to have a one bedroom. I would have had to pay three times the rent up front. Like this is just what it is, you know. You want a you want a one bedroom. I probably wasn't going to find anywhere, you know, cheaper based on the area that I was in. So I was just I was I already had my mind made up to go along with the apartment. But somehow, I just felt like I wanted to see this other place. I just thought that it was going to be a farce. Like, I just thought it wasn't going to look as good as it sounded, or it was just too good to be true, all of that. So, I told myself, let me just go and see and just hope that I didn't like it. You know, just hope that um, maybe it would be too far, um, maybe you know, the place wouldn't look nice or anything like that. No, there are a few things I would have compromised on at the apartment complex. Um, a lot of things that I didn't like. Um, minor things, but to me were just really important. And I, I just felt like I was willing to just, you know, throw away all the nitpicking and just <clears throat> go with this apartment complex because like to me that was God showing up that was God saying hey you know this is for you you know you finally get like somewhere to stay for yourself and you'll be comfortable and you know even though it's gonna cost a lot you'll make it so <laughs> That's what I thought. That 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 that's what I thought was the blessing, you know. Four days before moving date to the apartment complex, I hadn't signed a lease or anything. I hadn't paid any money except for a hundred dollars um, reservation fee. I came to tour this place. I experienced what I had feared the most, which was you know me liking the place because immediately I liked the place. There was just so much natural light. The place was clean, way bigger than I could have ever imagined. I was not thinking of getting a fully furnished apartment. That was not anywhere near close to my mind. Like I was not thinking about any of that. I was not thinking of getting anywhere with even a bed. And, you know, this came up and it far exceeded my expectations i was like wow this this is a whole house <laughs> i stepped inside and literally all i could think about was this this is a whole house 
I was able to secure this place with only a fraction of the cost of what I would have paid at the, at the apartment complex. I called one of my best friends. I, I just I just had to talk to somebody. I had to I had to just let somebody listen to my thoughts and I called my friend and I, I told her everything. I told her about the apartment I'm currently, you know, looking into taking. I, I told her about this apartment that came up and she listened. She gave her wise advice as always, as usual. She prayed for me and in her prayer, prayed that God would, you know, confirm in my heart the decision that I should make. And guys, let me tell you, I was so afraid of taking this place because it just popped up, literally just popped up. I wasn't thinking about it. I wasn't expecting it. I was like, you know, is this a test? Like, is this some kind of, like, what's going on? Like, I was so afraid of taking it. In my mind, I was willing to just turn the place down because I just couldn't accept that, okay, this is actually... A good thing like this is actually a good space for me to be in this place um, is just eight minutes away from the apartment complex that I was planning on staying and you know one of the teachers that I carpool with I was afraid that I would be putting her out of her way because she would have to get me in the mornings and so even though it's just like eight minutes and just just eight minutes because she could take this route and take us to work but you know i was just thinking of just so many different things and i i silently had decided that i was not going to take the place for that reason and just just the fact that i i don't i don't like things just popping up you know it just sounds so crazy and then i didn't want to be an inconvenience to the you know the leasing agent just so many things and i went to bed that night and i'm going to be completely honest with you guys i was i was not expecting to hear from the lord i was not expecting to hear from god i i wasn't expecting a dream i wasn't expecting anything at this point i was going through there's so much emotional up and down. I, I just felt like my heart wasn't in the right place to hear from the Lord. I felt like he wouldn't say anything because I've just been so sad. And I counted myself out. And I woke up the next morning and instinctively, as I always do, um, even if I don't read my Bible, I'll look at the verse of the day because I have the version app on my phone. And I scrolled down to look at the verse. And at first I only saw half of it. And then I opened up the app and I looked at the verse. The verse that I saw when I opened the app was from Matthew chapter 19 and verse 26. And it says, Jesus looked at them intently and said, humanly speaking, it is impossible but with god everything is possible and immediately this verse just came as such a comfort to every single question that i had in my mind about just everything it was comfort in going with this space that i'm i'm currently in right now and i prayed and i I, I just knew that that was a confirmation that God was giving me. I felt such a peace. I felt like a burden had lifted and I just started to feel excited. I started to feel excited about being in this space and it's in a really nice neighborhood. It's everything mentioned in the message that I got and you know when I came for myself and I saw and I'm just so so grateful. I. I get up in the mornings and I just feel so, so at peace, so comfortable. If you have not already felt any type of encouragement through, throughout this entire video, I just want to sum all of this up to say, trust God, like literally trust God. And it sounds so... 
so easy. Right? It's so easy for me to say it right in this very moment. But throughout all of the experience from the day I came up until now, you know, I kept telling myself that, okay, all of this is happening for a reason. Like, God is not gonna pull the rug from under me. Not no. Not no. Not no. Mm -mm. That can't be the case. And even though I was fighting so many lies from the enemy, and even though, like, sometimes I'll have certain thoughts and I just have to remind myself, like, I'm here for a reason and everything happened for a reason. And, you know, I think about how things could have gone otherwise, you know, to save me some trouble. But at the end of the day, God is always teaching us faith. He's always teaching us trust. And he's not sinister. And he's not, he's not like an underhanding God. Like, he's not, he's not mean. He's not a jokester or a prankster like god is genuine and everything that he does is out of love and even though that was hard for me to see like everything happening for a reason and you know god god is good all the time all the time god is good no i can say that all of that had to happen in in a way i'm just so grateful so without further ado I am going to take you into this apartment tour. Okay guys, so this is my entrance and coming up to here, we are going to start from the kitchen because the door is already open. <laughs> so there's that. Um, it's a nice little break front here. Um, love that dining area. These pots I got recently. Um, I really, really like the paintings that the owner has in this house. I just think it really um, goes well with like the colors on the wall and stuff like that. Coming over to here is the kitchen area. Um, we have stove, fridge, microwave. There was a coffee machine there. I put it on the windowsill because I don't drink coffee. Um, and I replaced it with some stuff to make smoothies. So there's that i think this kitchen is really nice not too big not too small perfect size for me actually i'm not a big cooker and so there is really no need for me to have like a big kitchen i do need to find a solution for drying my dishes though let me know what you guys think what should i get i'm looking at the dimensions online for the over the sink dish drying rack and i just feel like it's gonna be a little bit too high i don't know maybe i should just buy it and see and send it back no i don't want to do that anyway um i feel like i will eventually just get um a dish drying rack to put over the sink but for now i just drain the dishes in these bowls and stuff that were left behind by previous tenants um these have actually come in pretty handy so yeah um let's move on to the living room area so this is the living room there's a utility closet here and here i have my desk space i really really like this little area i, I think it reminds me a lot of um, my desk area back at home with you know my photo i even got a little plant you know similar to the one that i had before and i just think it's just really neat and all of that that's really important for me um this ottoman i bought for my room but i'm currently waiting on an office chair so i just put it here for the time being and over here is just like just like a regular living room setup ac tv another awesome painting so yeah guys those boxes i just got um ordered some stuff off amazon you guys will see that soon hopefully in another vlog and yeah i just can't wait to you know add so much more to this space make it more me you know a lot more homey a lot more cozy i want to get a lot more plants and stuff there's actually a hook do you guys see that hook and i feel like i'm just gonna put a plant there to just hang from the ceiling because why not 
Anyway, guys, we are heading into the bedroom. So this is my bed. You guys know I had to bring my fairy lights along. <laughs> so I have my fairy lights there and it just makes the place or the room feel so cozy at night. AC unit, my desk there with my Bible and some other books. That closet houses my laundry basket and some other storage stuff. And then coming over to here, that other closet has bags and just some other stuff for storage as well. And then this main closet has all my clothes and I have some shoes on the floor as well. Another cool painting. <laughs> I just love the paintings in here, guys. It's just so nice. So yeah this is my bedroom i really really like it it's a great space i'm used to my small bedroom just a small space overall we are heading into the bathroom another room that lets in so much natural light i love how the light comes in here this is my shower area i have those shelves that i got the other day really really useful love that and this is my little toiletry setup for now i do um have some well actually the things in the living room um will be coming in here to just kind of you know put everything together and that's me hey guys <laughs> so yeah that's basically it for the room tour you guys or should i room tour <laughs> that's basically it for the apartment tour guys i I'm just so so grateful and you guys are just gonna you're just gonna have to deal with me saying it because at the end of the day this is all God's doing and that is the most important thing that I want people to get that this was not me all I was doing was just being anxious and stressing out praying stressing out asking people to pray stressing out but in the end God proved to be so faithful and I'm just so grateful for all of this and uh, yeah Watch out for the bathroom selfies, guys.